All right, what's up? We're back with my finished project guitar. It's a little bit in the dark here, but we're gonna unplug this so I can talk about this for a second. And this turned out actually a lot better than I thought. There's my FX7, DOD FX7, that's an old pedal. If you're old school, you'll know what that pedal's all about. But I'll be doing a video on that uh, soon in the near future. I'll also be doing a video on that right there. The old Steinberg picked up. It's your interface. It comes with CU base or Q base or whatever you want to call it. So this is what happens to a room when you have an eight month old. Complete and utter destruction. But let's talk about this guitar for a second because there was a lot that had to be done in order for this to become a playable guitar. And in the end, it actually is a really good guitar. This is becoming one of my favorites next to my 540, but. Okay, so when I had originally got this body off eBay, um, I knew I wanted to put a 540 neck on it. Problem being, when I got the 540 screws from eBay, they didn't work because the ferrules, which are these little, look like kind of washers in there. Um, I ordered them for a 540, but this is a 470 body. So I needed 470 ferrules, um, which I took off another 470 that I have, an older one. So that's what had to be done in order to make the neck, the neck work. That There was like a gap. Not here, there was like a gap uh, this is over here because the screws wouldn't go all the way through. But I fixed that and it took a long time to set this up. And these locking tuners, my god, I fucking hate them. <laughs> I've been going to change strings for a while. These locking tuners are a pain in the ass and I'll probably use them on something like my ESP, but to have locking tuners on top of a Floyd system. I mean, it's such a pain in the ass. You got to run it through here, then you have to tighten it up, and then it, this wants to tighten the string clockwise, so it's going to pull the string over to the left side when I want it to the right. So I had to figure that out. Um, but yeah, pain in the ass. Had to do. You can see the truss covers off. I had to adjust the truss rod. When I originally put this neck in, there was no relief at all. I mean, none. When I did my uh, you know, you do your, you fret this note, and then you fret the first note, and then you check your your clearance on the 12th fret. Well, there was none. It was flat, which is why it's getting buzzing. A lot of buzzing. I'd raise the action up. Um, the action is still pretty high, if you see right here on the side. There's like a little screw that, uh, you see that black screw, and then I kind of measure that against the body. You can see how high that one is as opposed to this side over here that one is a little bit lower so on this one it's like the first three are a lot higher than the lower three but after some truss adjustments raising the action I had to screw around with the string tension a lot to get the um, actual trim to level if you can see here I try to level the trim there to make it somewhat level with the body like I do with my old edge so that bar right there I kind of try to level out with the body I haven't intonated this yet but I will soon um, I'm just getting used to playing it god just there's such a difference between the 540 necks and the 470 necks I mean maybe even just like a few millimeters but to me I can really tell the difference it's just I really love the necks on the 540 so that's about it for this quote project guitar. It's come out really well. I mean, this, this guitar, it's got a lot of resonance to it. I really enjoy it. But um, yeah, that's about it. If anybody has any questions on changing out a neck on something like this or how to, how to deal with truss issues or even tuners and any of that crap, go ahead and leave comments or messages, whatever you want. So, until then, I think I'm going to just play this for a little while, then intonate it. And uh, yeah, I've got some other guitars to cycle through. I will be making a video soon on uh, my uh, effects setup right now. 
and also that Steinberg interface that I got. I'm um, try trying to learn Cubase right now, or Cubase, or whatever they call it. Um, probably Cubase. Uh, just so I can do some recording. I already have recorded some stuff, but uh, it's nothing to really write home about. So that's it. That's my 540 project. Cool. I love this guitar.